Today we're joined by Mrs. Esti Peshin, who is the Director of Cybersecurity at IAI. Thanks for joining us. Now, cybersecurity and the cyber world is immense. So how do you know what to look for and where? Well, it's a very good question. Cyberspace is comprised of various areas. There's the open area, the open web area, there are the social networks, there are restricted areas accessible only to certain organizations or certain individuals, and there's the darknet, the ever-elusive space where the hackers reside. Now, the question of where to look depends on what you are looking for. Obviously, the more restricted or closed areas are the more interesting ones. And uh, we, we would look for interesting information based on the type of EEI, essential elements of information we are looking for. With regards to objectivity and reliability, how do you make sure that all of the information you receive is reliable? Well, we do not. The underlying assumption is that cyberspace is an area where bogus information and bogus identities are uh, extremely uh, pronounced. This means that essentially every element of information we are gathering from cyberspace is suspicious. The only way to determine that something is objective and reliable is over time, where we consider a specific source because people are uploading this information into cyberspace. So we consider a source for its potential reliability. Obviously, the only way to be able to determine a reliability of a source is over time by determining whether or not the information he provided actually culminates in something that is happening, or on the other hand, by cross-referencing his information with other reliable sources of information. Based on the events of 9-11, where technical tools weren't even being used then, is our insurgents, criminals and terrorists even using digital tools? Well, intelligence gathering has a lot of variants. One of its most important variants today is open source intelligence, or what we refer to as web intelligence, information gathered from cyberspace, from the web. The reason it is important is because the cost of collecting this information is significantly lower than employing other types of information gathering <coughs> capabilities. Now, the cost of gathering information from cyberspace usually is, is extremely low. You just go out there, crawl the web, and collect the information. Now, just to give you a simple example, assuming there is an intelligence service that is collecting information about, let's say, a certain building or place, now, the intelligence service can start uh, sending out people, agents, to photograph this place. This is a costly operation. It incorporates also <coughs> bringing the people onto the place. On the other hand, we can look for photos of this place in cyberspace. Now, what would be cheaper? So the bottom line is we need to do both. We need to collect information from cyberspace because it's a, a cheaper way to do business. But we also have to continue gathering information in the legacy or traditional intelligence gathering methods. So what are the success rates between cyber intelligence and good old-fashioned intelligence gathering? Well, the, the, the bottom line is that these types of uh, uh, successes are not, uh, um, are not publicized. So I think that uh, trying to put a figure or putting a statistic on whether or not such operations succeed or not would be a bit uh, hasty. Thank you very much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.